Okay, we are ready to deliver the bomb ring to the Mist Village. Nothing bad could happen, right? That sounds uh, sounds good. <laughs> no, of course not. The ring is glowing. Those are bomb monsters. We'll be fighting those guys later in the game. What the? This is why he sent us here? We destroyed the entire village. Okay, so that was the intention of the King of Baron. He sent Cain and Cecil to, to burn the village of summoners. Oh. So because we this mother summoned the mist dragon and we defeated it that means she's she dies too so so this girl is uh, <clears throat> not too happy <laughs> obviously what he's just a child you didn't intend to defy the king okay so it looks like Cain is having loyalties to the king. Cecil is saying, no, forget it. Not gonna obey the king's crooked orders. Okay, and Cain's come to his senses, that's good. So we're gonna try to help, help this girl escape from the village. <clears throat> we won't hurt you, but you'll have to come with us, okay? No! So this is one of those <clears throat> predetermined outcome battles. Doesn't matter what you do here, you can you can defend or attack the girl. Eventually she's gonna summon Titan. Okay, hit us with the earthquake and that causes a big landslide in the mountains just outside the village. Cecil, there's the girl. No sign of Cain, though. She's safe, thank goodness. Cain? Cain? I have to get her out of here. Cain, I pray that you're alive. Okay, you can see due to the landslide, the, the path to the Mist Village is blocked. Uh, we'll be able to visit that place later, but for now we have to find this, uh, this village in the middle of a desert here. Multiple enemies, so use darkness. Instead of attacking four times, it speeds up the battle. The Cecil got a level up. Nice. Okay, this is called Kaipo, Oasis of the Desert. That's nice, the innkeeper is letting us rest free of charge. Okay, so we've dropped the, the girl off. Hey, are you alright? Not surprised, she's still angry at us. Alright, well, well let's, let's get some sleep anyways. She's not going to talk.
Okay, we got some soldiers coming. Alright, so these guys obviously have heard that there's a girl still alive. So we have to protect her. Now, if you kill all of those three red soldiers, the green one will run away. If he runs away, we don't get experience points from him. We want to get the experience. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to kill two of the reds. Leave one. Going to minimize our damage. And then attack the green general there. Probably take about five or six hits to, uh, to finish this guy off. Maybe one more. Nope. Nope. You've, you've got quite a bit of HP. Wow, oh, there we go. Finally. Okay, and <laughs> that last remaining soldier killed himself. So you get 600 experience. It's quite a, quite a substantial amount. Are you okay? Yes, don't worry about me. I won't let anyone hurt you. Promise? I promise. I'm Rydia. Alright, so Summoner Rydia has joined. So we're back to a, a two-person party again. So this uh, Rydia has a little bit of everything. She can use basic white and black magic and also can summon monsters. Although at the moment she can only summon a, a chocobo to, uh, to attack. Make sure she's in the back row too. You want anybody who's a magic user or a long range attacker to be in the back row because your long range attacks will do regular damage. but. If an enemy attacks you, they'll only do half damage. Okay, let's get a few uh, items. We're kind of low on potions. Antidote in case we get poisoned. And eye drops in case we're blinded. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're just going to explore this town. Quench your thirst with Kaipo Punch. Hmm, sounds interesting. Okay, there's an old man in the water cab cavern that, uh, that won't let that guy through. Lots of monsters running around. Well, yes, we... <laughs> We know that just by wandering around the overworld. There's another dancer here. the armor store Let's see if there's any uh, armor for us mm, nope. nope nothing better than what we have already water cavern is to the northeast okay if there's anything good in the weapon shop. 
No. Staff is better for Rydia, but uh, I'm gonna skip it. She's equipped with the rod, which, when used as an item, can have a powerful uh, long range attack. Uh, found an ether in a pot. Okay, we got one house remaining. Found a girl from Baron lying unconscious. She kept muttering the name Cecil. Hmm, sounds familiar. Oh, it's Rosa. Okay. Cure the desert fever, you need a rare jewel called the Sand Ruby. Alright, so I guess we'll have to find the Sand Ruby. Gotta help Rosa. And we've explored the town. Okay, you'll notice that Rydia is extremely weak. She only has... 30 HP. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of level grinding here to, <clears throat> to build her up. And I'll show you her item attack. Go into your items, go up, select the rod, select the enemy, turns to magic arrow. Once she's gained a couple levels and can use magic, you can just use uh, use magic. But for now, we're going to use the rod as an item. Oh, learn Blizzard. Okay, now we can attack guys with Blizzard. Okay, so that's your homework assignment, guys. I want you to grind until Rydia is at 100 HP. I'll see you back in a minute. Okay, through the magic of editing, look, we're, we're over 100. Level grinding is boring, but in RPGs you gotta do it. Alright, so let's go northeast and into the watery pass. Darkness is such a handy uh, attack. I really wish they put it in the, uh, in the Super Nintendo version that was released back in 91. Let's, uh, let's collect all the treasures. Potion. Good. Okay, now the enemies here are water-based, so they're weak against lightning. Thunder, I guess. They, they call the, the magic thunder in this game. Thunder is a sound. It <laughs> hits them with a lightning bolt. It's not thunder. Maiden's Kiss, which will cure Frog. Hey, okay, Rydia, that's, this is your doing. Hit him with the uh, thunder, the lightning. <laughs> thunder by name, in reality, it's lightning. <laughs> Across the bridge, what's down here? Tent! That's good. Can never have enough tents. Oh, there's an old man blocking the way. Just like the people uh, told us in Kaipo. Now I'll tell you guys something interesting. If you try to come here without talking to Rosa in Kaipo, the old man will not let you pass. You need to talk to Rosa first. I must get to Demans Damakin to rescue my daughter. You must be Sage Hella, indeed I am. Girl, she's a summoner. Oh, apparently there's a giant monster ahead too. Let us make a Sage Tella has joined the party. Okay, so we got even more magic. That's good. Okay, so Tella, he has a large amount of HP as you can see. 
got a basic selection of, uh, of white and black magic too. Cure A, uh, which is the next highest version of Cure. You'll notice that no matter how high in level you get, Rydia does not learn fire. We'll, uh, we'll get to that later on, uh, a little bit later on here. So again, Tella also in the back row, being a magic user, we can get the, the benefit of, uh, of taking half damage from physical attacks. Hey, Cecil's over 300 HP, that's great. Go into the water, hope our armor doesn't rust. Iron armlet. Okay, let's see who we can equip this with. Uh, Rydia's got one already. We'll give it to Tella. Notice that Tella doesn't really have much in terms of uh, armor. If you want, you could go back to Kaipo and, and buy him some uh, some armor and a, a new staff from the store, but I'd, I, w I wouldn't bother personally. He's, he's strong enough right now as it is. With his magic and high HP, he doesn't really need, uh, need that extra armor. Oh, back attack. You'll notice being attacked from the back, the rows change, so now our magic users are in the front row and Cecil is in the back row. So if we use Cecil to physically attack someone, he'll only do half damage. Toads, okay, these guys can turn us into into a frog, so we can use if in case we are turned into a frog, we can use the maiden's kiss. Try your best to fight every enemy you come across, so you will minimize the level grinding you must do later on. These enemies aren't uh, <clears throat> aren't that strong anyway. Cure jaw. Wow. So it's, it's a high level of cure magic. Oh, it ran away. Again, if, if an enemy runs away, you don't get experience points for that enemy anyway. And a potion. More of these guys. <clears throat> oh, it's good to have the, <clears throat> the thunder slash lightning spell. guys. <laughs> it seems like an endless number of these. It's like three shells and one uh, one cell membrane. What do they call it? Water bug. Yeah, 
guessing he'll run away too. Yep. Oh, Radio Learn Warp. That is a useful spell. That can transport you outside of a dungeon. Now Cecil is uh, very low HP. Don't worry, he'll uh, he'll be healed soon. We'll rest here. Okay, so this is a save point. Tella's gonna use his ten, so we won't have to use one out of our inventory. And we'll be all fully fully healed, magic-wise and health-wise. Reminds me of Anna at that age. Who is Anna? My daughter. Uh, so, so Tella didn't consent to his daughter marrying the a bard. Now Cecil's telling him that we're out to find the sand ruby to cure Rosa. Okay, so now that we're at a save point, let's let's save the game. Cardinal rule of RPGs, whenever you can save, save. You never know when you, you'll be in an unlucky battle and, and be defeated. Or something, or something other where you have to turn the game off. Ice Rod, okay. See who can we equip that with? Equip, give it to Ridia. If you use that as an item, it will use Blizzard on the enemies. Got him. Didn't get a chance to run away that time. He threw the water. And up into the door. Underground watery. Basement 3. Okay, we got giant toads again. Let's get him with magic. Victory! Okay, let's keep going down. 580 gil, that's good. You never have enough gil. And thank goodness for group attacks, they really speed up the battle. Bomb Fragment. Okay, if you use that on an enemy, it will cast fire. Back attack. Oh boy. down
see if these guys end up running away. Yeah, ones run away. Oh, the other one didn't get a chance. Through the door. Oh, there's a nice, uh, nice waterfall there. Let's see what's here. Potion. And look. Oh, there's a secret passage in the wall. Nice to know about those. I remember the old uh, Super Nintendo version. If you change the contrast on the TV, you could uh, you could actually see the secret passages. One of the old tricks that uh, you learn through experience. These uh, these ghost-looking guys, physical attacks don't uh, don't work well on them. Hit them with magic. Feathered cap. Okay, who can we give that to? Give that to Rydia, and then... Rydia's used stuff will go to Tella, since he doesn't have a cap. More toads again. A nice view. Look all the way down, see how high up we are. We got a couple blue toads this time in addition to the yellow ones. Oh, see, we've been toaded. We'll, uh, we'll fix that a bit later. You can either use Maiden's Kiss to nullify that, or have uh, somebody who has the Toad spell just cast Toad again. Two Toads will uh, will cancel each other out. Okay, Cecil's back to his normal self. Secure ourselves a bit. Ether. It's good for refilling magic. Ah, oh, more of these ghosty guys again. Red moose, as they call it. Let's use the bomb fragment to speed everything up here. Wow, that's, uh, that did quite a considerable amount of damage. Ar Antarctic Wind. Okay, that will cast uh, ice. I like to use those items in regular battles, they speed things up considerably. Hourglass. Okay, and we found a sword for Cecil. Let's give him the Shadow Blade. There we go. Ups his attack power considerably. Let's magic these guys. way leads outside. Use a tent if you must. Okay, well, 
let's uh, let's take Tella's advice and uh, we'll use a tent to refill our HP and MP. And that uh, is also a good place to save and take another break. So please uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time in, uh, in part 3 of my Final Fantasy 4 walkthrough.